This is a tutorial to demonstrate some of the features of the Playlists app and the autoplay function and how you can use both of them together to create a laser show. As you're exploring patterns, when you find one that you like, if you hit this plus, it will ask if you want to add it to playlist. And you can add it to an existing playlist that is in this drop down menu, or you can create a new playlist. We'll call this tonight's show. OK. We'll click on that. Now that pattern is added to that playlist. We'll add a couple other patterns to the playlist. OK, so now when we go to the playlists folder, you're going to see a few different things. Here is tonight's show. And when you click on that, these are the patterns that we just selected. Also, in the playlist folder, you'll see other collections such as saved drawings, texts, imported images, etc. So what exactly can you do with the images in this playlist that you've just created? Well, one really cool option is to hit this button and it will automatically assign hotkeys to each one of the patterns. So when that's enabled, as you hit each key on your computer keyboard, that pattern will be enabled. So you can instantly play a sequence of patterns in any order in real time by just using your computer keyboard. Now let's look at another way to play these patterns with the autoplay controls that are located right here. When you click this, you will see that these patterns are going to randomly cycle through and the duration of each pattern is going to be two seconds. But you can change that. Let's change it to one second. And now these are going to cycle randomly with each pattern having a one second duration. Now right now, these patterns are randomly being selected from the playlist folder because this disclosure triangle is the only one that's selected. But let's go ahead and select now visualizers. And what's going to happen is it's going to randomly pick patterns in the playlist folder and it's going to randomly choose patterns that are in the visualizers folder. And we could add another folder. And now it's going to randomly select between all those choices. If you change this auto random mode to this cycle mode, what you'll see is it's going to cycle through the folders in order, but it's going to choose each pattern within the folder randomly. So we're going to turn it back to random. And what you can do with these buttons is move them forward or backwards manually. To better demonstrate that, I'm going to change this to a 10 second duration. And now you'll see it's still going to pick the patterns randomly from each folder but it'll do it only each time I click the next button or the previous button. And if I were to only pick the playlist folder, it would work the same way. I could randomly select a pattern each time I clicked the next button. So the autoplay function can randomly change your patterns based on a set amount of seconds that each pattern will last. But you can also change the seconds to beats. And I'll show you that. Let's set this now to change every four beats. And when we start a piece of music, 
This is at 130 beats per minute. And so every four beats, the pattern is gonna change. And just as before, we can add another folder. And it'll randomly cycle through these in predetermined ways. So you can see it's a pretty easy way to set up an effective light show that syncs right to music.